Hey everyone, this is Marbozir and this is part 1 of my brand new Civilization 5 Let's Play. This time I will be playing Ethiopia, still on Emperor, I don't really feel like moving up to Immortal just yet. Uh, but I will be playing on Pangea Plus map, I will be most likely going for Cultural Victory. I do have some advanced setup options. And so, I set the world age to 3 billion years, which should generate more mountains than usual. Temperature to cool and rainfall to wet. And I set the resources to legendary start, which should give me a good starting location. And I also enabled raging barbarians, which should make it more interesting, especially in the early game. So, there are a few interesting things about Ethiopia. Uh, the best thing that will work nicely with culture victory is the fact they get plus 20% combat bonus when fighting units from civilization with more cities. So considering I won't be using more than 3-4 cities, this should work nicely with culture victory. Anyway, this is the setup, let's get started. So, my special Blessings building be replaces you, monument and gives extra plus to faith on top of the regular Ethiopia. culture bonus from the monument. Legacy is one of Ethiopia's this is quite rulers. nice, obviously, in the, the early game for starting the religion. The and the special unit Ethiopia has replaces riflemen and gets stronger the closer place. they are to the capital, which should also work very nicely with culture victory, since, like I said, I won't be using more than maybe four cities. Anyway, let's have a look around and move over here before I start my city. Yeah, this looks very nice. Obviously, this is legendary start. So let's settle here. I'm on the river. I have two wheat in range. I have some luxuries in range. Let's do that. Shame it's not a coastal city, but it's better to settle here than to move to the coastal hex. So... Right, I'm going to grab pottery. Actually, no. Hmm, let me think about this for a moment. Do I need animal husbandry? No, I don't. I don't need trapping to get my luxury resource. So I can get that first, perhaps? Hmm. Right, I'm going to grab trapping first. So animal husbandry, then trapping. I would normally grab pottery first. But my monuments give me a plus two faith bonus, so I don't have to build shrines early on. I don't really need to build them at all. I am obviously going to start from this. That gives me plus two culture and plus two faith. Seems like a no-brainer right at the start of the game. And it will allow me to get an early pantheon. I need to explore around before I actually start my pantheon. So... I'm probably going to grab a scout right after that, so I can explore around. I need to grab a pantheon that will actually help me with culture, most likely. So like I mentioned when I was starting, I never actually did a culture victory game on Emperor before. So I have no idea how this game is going to progress. I have a few general things in mind when going for culture victory. Obviously there are a few wonders that will be absolutely critical for culture victory. Sistine Chapel comes to mind for example. So I'm probably going to want to reserve a great engineer for some key wonders. And I need to find really really good locations for my cities since every single city uh, founded increases cost of culture uh, of social policies so that's counterproductive for culture victory obviously this is a standard size map so i want to stay at three maybe four cities and the first uh, social tree i'm going to go for uh, is tradition there is one policy in Liberty that would kind of benefit the culture victory, but I think tradition is better. Mostly because, first of all, I get bonus for wonder production and there are some really important wonders that I'm going to need. I get plus free culture in my capital and I get a food bonus, which will help my cities grow faster. So I think this is a better choice than Liberty. And now I'm going to grab a scout, only 4 turns, so that's fast enough. And I'm already getting plus 2 faith 
thanks to my unique building. Very good start with Ethiopia. Right. I'm going to grab trapping. Just so I can grab my luxury resource as soon as I get a worker. And I'll want a worker pretty soon. Wow, I have three wheat in my capital's range. That's pretty awesome. And two of them are uh, near the river. That's even better. Awesome start. Let's get rid of this barbarian camp. I do have to remember that I set raging barbarians on. So I really need to keep an eye on barbarians. Especially once I start improving my terrain, I don't want them to pillage my improvements. Which means I'll have to keep at least one, maybe two units near my capital and near most of my cities later on. And yeah, I already have my pantheon. That's a little bit too early actually because I don't really have an idea what kind of terrain is around me. So, right, I don't see any jungle. So plus one culture from jungle is probably not a good choice. There's no wine or incense that I can see. Hmm. I'm not really going to spam shrines and I'm going to have limited number of cities, so this is a bit useless as well. Hmm. I don't really see many pastures around to build, only this sheep over here and that's about it. So this is a period of choice. I'm not actually quite sure what to pick right here. I don't see gold and silver either. I only have one silver, so that's not really worth grabbing. Maybe I should get extra happiness instead, or extra growth. Food from camps, for example, but I don't even see many camps either. I could also go for fertility rights, that would help my cities grow faster, which is going to be very important, considering I need to build a tall empire for culture victory. I think this is the best choice that I can see, especially with all this weed around my capital. So I'm going to grab fertility rights. Right, let's go for it. There we go. I hope I won't regret that, but I think that was the most reasonable choice in my current situation and considering my starting location. Okay, so I really need to explore around and find optimal spots for my cities. So I'm going to grab a worker now and not a settler. There's no rush to start the new cities. I can take my time a bit. I do obviously want to have my four cities or three cities made as soon as possible. But I need to think about the locations. Okay, so like I am already mentioned, I'm going to grab Tradition. Since I think that makes more sense than Liberty. And it gives me plus flea culture for adopting it. So now I'm getting plus 6 culture already. That's pretty good. Considering this is only turn 13. Very nice. And wow, I'm going to have a lot of luxury resources for trade. I see 4 extras already, that's nice. 5 extras now. As long as I can actually have cities in range. I hope there are some more rivers around here. Right, I need to go back to my capital before I actually finish that scout. I need to remember about my defenses in the long run though, because I'm definitely going to have some defensive wars against other civilizations. So if possible, I need to try building my cities in easily defensible locations. That's going to be very important later on. I have no idea what kind of civilizations are near me just yet. If there is an aggressive one, I'll have to think about my defenses quite early on. I have a feeling I'm going to regret setting Raging Barbarians on. <laughs> but hey, it will make it more exciting. At least I can fight something. This game will be slightly counterintuitive for me, really, because I, lot, I, I like warmongering a lot in Civilization. <laughs> and obviously I won't be able to do that much when I'm going for culture victory. So that's slightly unfortunate. 
it will mostly involve defending myself. So, hmm. I don't think I'm going to grab wonders right away. So, I'm going to go for landed elite as fast as I can. Which means I'm grabbing legalism first. It's also going to be nice before I start my second city. So my second city can have a free uh, culture building right from the start. And once I get the next one, like I said, I'm going to grab London Elite. Alright, let's get rid of this. This one is about to go down. There we go. Let's keep exploring. I see another river. But this is a little bit too far from my capital, I feel. And there are mountains in the way. I need to check if I can go through here. I should be able to. I'll need to find my second city location soon. Since I'll probably go for settler after this worker. Let's go this way. I kind of want to grab that silk. Now I need to heal myself a bit on this guy. I got quite lucky with that free promotion from the ruins. So now I'm going to grab a settler. Actually no, I'm going to... Mm, I should grab a worker and not a settler. So yeah, let's go for worker. I'm about to finish trapping as well, and I can grab my first luxury. But technically I can't grab it right now, because of the barbarians. I need to get rid of them. Can't really finish this guy off. Right, so, I'm going to grab mining now, so I can get the silver near my capital. And after that... Hmm, after that... I'm probably going to go for drama and poetry so I can grab the amphitheater. I need to think well about how I want to progress through the technology tree. There are some really key wonders that I'm going to want. Probably a few early on. Stonehenge might actually make sense. Plus five faith will help me get my religion very, very fast. And one great engineer point this early on will also help. So I might try building Stonehenge in my capital. I think it's a good idea. I should probably get rid of this barbarian camp, otherwise they will keep spawning over here. And I do think I'm going to start my second city somewhere here. I can grab two silk resources. There's wheat over here and the city can be on the river. And I can start it within two hexes of a mountain. Which would possibly be a location for Machu Picchu later on, if I can get that. Although with so few cities, it will not be as good. Right, seriously. I need to move out with this worker. I'll just move to the hill. Like so. And now... Yeah, now I'm going to get a settler. Although maybe that's a bit too fast. I still need to get rid of this camp. And I only have one unit right now. Actually, I'm going to grab a shrine. No. I need to grow my capital fast. So, granary first. And then possibly shrine. I don't want to build Settler, send him here, only to lose him to Barbarians, that would be bad. And I don't want to leave my capital undefended with this scout around here. I need to grab Bronze Working after mining. I can't base my defenses on Warriors. That's not really a good idea. <laughs> Let's move over here. At least my Worker will be safe. I'll have to actually buy this Hex, though. But that's fine, I can do it. I 
I hope that won't be too expensive. 50 gold, yeah, that's not too bad. I can live with that. And let's improve it. I'm just going to fortify my spearman over there. If he attacks me through the river, he's going to have a bad time. And archery is probably going to be a better idea than bronze working. Then I can stick an archer in my capital and just keep this spearman over here. The main thing I'm worried about is that the barbarians will pillage my improvements. Oh, nice. This could be a potentially really good spot for a city. Yeah, this will be a much better spot. I can grab both silk and these three dice with one city. And the truffles as well. Maybe? No, I can't grab this if I want to be on the river, but I can grab all of these with one city. And the horses too. Yeah, that will be very good. I'm definitely going to start a city on this hex actually, I think. On this exact hex. That looks good. Okay, so I'm going to get archery just so I can defend myself a bit. Hmm, maybe I could get Temple of Artemis for extra growth. I mean, with my Pantheon that gives me extra growth. It might not be a bad idea stacking my growth. So this would give me another plus 10%. Not a bad idea, perhaps. There are a lot of wonders I want, honestly. And a lot of wonders that would help me, both with the culture part and with building a tall empire part. Let's check down here a bit more. And I have the next culture policy already. Very nice. So I'm going to grab land and elite for plus 10 growth. Plus 10% I mean. So if I build a temple of Artemis, I would have plus 10% uh, from my Pantheon, plus 10% from Legalism, and plus 10% from Temple of Artemis. That would be pretty good. But that also means I have to get uh, Aristocracy next for the plus 15% bonus on Wonders. Let's get rid of this guy. My capital will actually have some decent production. Shame there are only two hills in the range, three hills. But I do have silver. Yeah, I think it will be a pretty decent city production wise. Could be better, but I'm not complaining. I will need at least one really high production city, so it would be good finding a location for the best production city around here. Alright, the worker is going down here. I need to improve the silver. I think I had the first Pantheon on the map. I wasn't really paying attention to that. And there we go, that's the first civilization. Alright. He's far enough from me, so I don't think I'm going to have a war with him. Egyptians really don't like when you have a city close to their capital. <laughs> that pisses them off really fast. So I'm glad he's not too close to me. Because if he was, then I would totally expect a war very early on. He is the number one AI right now though, so I need to watch out for him. But it should be fairly easy to defend this territory. Let's find his capital then. And I'm about to finish a granary, so my capital should have some really nice growth. The question is now, should I try getting Temple of Artemis or not? Byzantines, okay. I don't really like them. They often get very, very strong in my games. And not just in the one I played on the channel. No barbarians so far? Oh yeah, I was going to get rid of this camp. But first I need to heal myself. So, let's grab the shrine next, I suppose. Or a settler. 
Yeah, I should get a settler now. It's about time. Let's do that. And I am going to start a city on this exact hex that I'm pointing to right now. I think that's the best location that I can see in the area. There's a salt over here. Might be good grabbing that as well. But I need to remember, I'll only have four cities total. Is that the Byzantine capital right here? I think it might be. So wow, that's very close to mine. I need to watch out for them. They are going to be a bigger threat than Egyptians if their capital is right here. And it probably is, since this is only turn 33. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to grab writing next, I think. Do I need anything else for my actual improvements? Not right now, I don't. I'll need a plantation. Uh, I, I'll need calendar for plantations once I start this city down here. But that's not going to happen at least for a few more turns. So, I might still try to get the Stonehenge though. But first I'll grab writing. So I can build the library. I don't like having Byzantines this close to me. I really don't like that. But nothing I can do about this. I'll just have to deal with it. I'll need some defenses though, especially once I start more cities. Getting attacked with no defenses would be really bad, especially on Emperor. Okay, let's take care of that Barbarian camp. So far so good, no? I'll have three luxury resources with two cities. So that's not bad. If I can find some extra luxuries to grab with my other cities, I'll be in a good shape. I know there's salt over here, but I don't really see any really good city location where I could grab it. So that is kind of a reserve location if I can't find anything better. I need to explore the coast a little bit more. There might be some luxury resources along, among, uh, along the coast. Some whales, crabs or anything like that. Yeah, I re really don't like the Byzantines over there. Right, attacking through the river is not a good idea. Writing is almost done. Maybe I should grab Great Library as well. <laughs> Honestly, I would want all of these wonders. But I can't have them all at once. Hmm, I don't want to attack from here. I'm going to move to this hill and then attack from the hill. That seems to be the most reasonable option. This map is kind of interesting. Oh, so much for the great library. Ramses entered classical era already. Okay. So he's quite a bit ahead of me then. Well, he could just beeline to one of these technologies, I suppose. And here's another civilization. Alright. This one is quite far from me. And I'm about to finish my first settler. So, like I said, I'm going to send him over here. This might piss off the Byzantines if their capital is right here. But I'll just have to prepare for that. I do want to grab this location. It's a good spot, it has wheat, it has two different luxury resources, and I can grab horses as well if I buy this deck. So, right now, I don't see any better spot than that. So I'm going to send him right there, but on this note I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.